Hey, tired, what's up? It's the Culture Detective here investigating your favorite movies. Woohoo! So today my voice is just going to sound like this for the rest of the video. So anyways, today I'm going to be doing a movie roundup video where I talk about the movies, TV shows, and animes I watched in the last couple of weeks or so. Starting off, I watched Silent Night by John Woo. Yeah, this movie, the only reason why I'm watching this movie is, be is because it's John Woo and I support the man, but damn is this movie cheesy and outdated. The fights aren't even that good, the staircase long take just feels like a gimmick, and each invisible cut uh, is so easily noticeable it kind of destroys the magic. The whole movie also takes a whole hour to get to the first action scene. The whole nuclear white family thing and the passive racism also raise some eyebrows. The no dialogue thing is a fun gimmick, but it's not like it's that groundbreaking or anything. So yeah, 5 out of 10. Then I watch Anatomy of a Murder. And yeah, this is a riveting courtroom drama that feels ahead of its time. I also don't normally watch classic movies from the 1950s, but you know what, Anatomy of a Murder is really well known and critically acclaimed and let me give it a try. And I really enjoyed it. I think Jimmy Stewart is awesome, but the one that steals the show for me is George C. Scott. 9 out of 10. Next up, I watched Chorulata by Sutoji Dai. Sutoji Dai. Sutoji Dai. I'm sorry, okay? I cannot speak Bengali. Leave me alone, forgive me. <laughs> Anyways, I watched this film for a class, for my film studies class, and it is a beautiful film. The pacing is slow and steady, but there's an elegance to it. A prose, if you will. I love the music, I love all the singing, I love the allusions, the poetry, and the literature. The swinging shot has got to be one of the most beautiful shots I've ever seen. There are a lot of exciting camera movements, and there's an amazing ending to this film. 9 out of 10. Following that, we see, uh, we, um, uh, blah, 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 uh, I, I saw MASH. I saw the movie MASH from 1970 by Robert Altman. I saw this for a class, and it's my first Robert Altman film. Shamefully enough, shameful to me to say, I've never seen a single Altman film before. There are a lot of jokes in this movie that are indeed very funny, but also racist, misogynist, and didn't age very well. This movie also feels very long, like I feel like the movie could be cut 30 minutes short and it would still be fine. 7 out of 10. Next up for my religion class, we watched The Gospel According to Saint Matthew by Pier Paolo Pasolini. And this is my first Pier Paolo Pasolini film as well. And again, I'm shameful to admit that as a film lover. But I hate to say this, but it's kind of boring. This is a very faithful adaptation of the Gospel of Matthew from the Bible, and I respect the realism and the faithful adaptation, but when you're so faithfully putting together Bible verses, it just feels like a bunch of thoughts rather than a well put together film. So uh, I didn't really enjoy this one all that much unfortunately, 7 out of 10. And uh, on the same class we also watched The Life and Passion of Jesus Christ, which is this um, late 1890s silent film from France about Jesus, so that's that. I don't know how to rate that. Finally, I finished watching The Bear Season 2, and honestly, I like it more than Season 1. There are a couple of dud episodes here and there, but and, and some romance storylines just didn't really work for me, I just didn't really care for that. But Episode 6 and 7, Forks and Fishes, are back to back masterpieces, and I really enjoy the finale as well. Everyone's acting is great, story's good, 8 out of 10. Next up, I watched Maestro by Bradley Cooper. And yeah, it's a huge Oscar bait. In my long form review, I forgot to mention the prosthetic nose issue because Bradley Cooper was playing someone Jewish and they added a prosthetic nose to him, to his face. And that stirred up a bit of a controversy and I find that a little bit distasteful. But also just as distasteful would be Carrie Mulligan playing a half Latina. But yeah, the movie overall is just kind of weak. The script feels weak and nondescript and indecisive. The only saving grace that this movie has going for itself is the cinematography. I think it's awesome. 6 out of 10. Following that, I watched Sancho the Bailiff, and it's a freaking masterpiece. When you do watch this film, please prepare some tissues because you're going to cry. 
I love the messaging of the film and I wish more people would talk about this movie. 10 out of 10 for me. Then I rewatched The Matrix. I watched it for a class and when I first watched The Matrix, I remember liking it but not that entertained by it. Um, but on a big screen, it's much more enjoyable. I think the thing that caught me the most was the style. I love the style. The biopunk, the black leather coats, the sunglasses, the jungle beats. Oh my god, it's good. 9 out of 10. Yes, my voice is going to sound like this for the rest of the video. Then I watched Detachment, which uh, is a movie I picked for Valentine's Day. and. It is a very interesting film. Some elements of this film worked really well and some didn't. And uh, I don't have all the time in the world to unpack all the elements that worked and, and all the elements that didn't work. But uh, yeah, watch the full review that I have for Detachment. 7 out of 10. Then I watched Network by Sidney Lumet or Lumet. And again, as a cinephile, I, it's, it's a bit shameful for me, for me to admit that I haven't seen a single Sidney Lumet film. Yes, I haven't seen 12 Angry Men. Yes, you can shut up about it now. But yeah, I watched it for a class and it's great. Great dialogue, great satire, great commentary on American media and consumerism. 9 out of 10. Immediately the next day on Thursday for my religion class, we watched Godspell. What the fuck did I just watch? This is a Bible adaptation of the Jesus Christ story, but on LSD. Everyone acts like Charlie Chaplin, and the songs don't even make sense. 5 out of 10. Finally, uh, on the same day, at night, I watched About Dry Grasses by Nuri Bilge Ceylan. For a 3 hour long, slow paced art house Turkish film, I wasn't bored. There's a lot of great cinematography, very intelligently written dialogue, and some scenes are actually really, really funny and uncomfortable at the same time. 8 out of 10. So yeah, these are all the movies, TV shows, and animes I watched in the last few weeks or so. What did you watch? Comments below. Let me know. Subscribe if you want more, and thanks for watching. I love my voice. <laughs>